It's time for Ryan's Roses. Here we go. This is a public service. Now, if you think something's going on in your relationship and you can't get to the bottom of it, send us the note. We'll see if you want to go on the air. Sarah and Glendora writes to us this. Dear Ryan, my husband has had uh, a number saved on his phone contacts as telemarketer. When I saw it, I asked him, and he explained it was a telemarketer who calls, so he saved it so he knows not to pick up. Mm -hmm. So the other day, I saw he texted the telemarketer. Oh. (laughs) I went in and checked. It just said, I loved it, nothing else. But I looked at the number under the contact, you know, where you, you so you can go into the thing and hit I and yes. information, right? And it wasn't, and then pictures that you mm-hmm. have stored come up at the bottom. Be careful. I know. Um, if that person that mm-hmm. sent you pictures, they're all there if you hit I at the bottom. If you need to be careful about something, but well, People yes. send pictures that, they, they're not bad. They just, all of a sudden, if you see it, you go, whoa. Um, <laughs> anyway, but I looked at the number under the contact and it wasn't a toll free number. It was a local 626. Interesting. So it just gets weirder and weirder. Right, I went right, into right. the call log and I saw a couple of phone calls to the telemarketer mm. number. This telemarketer in quotes thing originally happened over a year ago, but, um, I, I think something's going on. Okay. So wow. uh, that's weird. Uh, Sarah. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming on with us. So telemarketer at the surface, fine, but then you don't reach out to a telemarketer. And then you get into the contacts and you see that he says, I loved it. Any other texts that you could figure out to connect the dots of why you're saying I loved it to the telemarketer? No, it was, that was the only text in the whole conversation. So I think the other ones must have been deleted. And how long have you been with your husband? We've been married for eight years. And do you have kids? Yeah, we have two young kids. Okay. Uh, this is really, I mean, it's not good, right? Mm-mm, because no. he's hes clearly doing something behind your back. The question is, who is it and what's he doing? How far is he taking it, right? Right. What, what um, when you looked at the call log, how many calls, what, what's the volume of calls coming in and out with this number? Um, I mean, there weren't very many, but some were outgoing. And so it was only a handful. I scrolled like pretty far and it was only a handful, but you don't call. Like, why would you call a telemarketer? Yeah. And why would you text loved it? Exactly. All right. We're going to get um, Sarah here and then call her husband and offer him some roses. Sarah, we want to find out who he sends the roses to and then what he puts on the cart. Okay? Yeah. All right. Um, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then whatever his name is on Kiss FM. Um, Ryan, you have my permission to call my my husband. What's his name? Uh, on Kiss FM? On Kiss FM. Okay, be very quiet. Let's see what we can find out on, on the card here and who he sends him to. Okay. Okay, sis. Mm-hmm. Here we go, darling. Hello? Hi, may I speak to John? Uh, this is John. Hi, John. My name is Lucy. I'm calling from Luxurious Flowers. How are you doing this morning? I'm well. Hey, I just have. I wanted to see if you just had a few minutes. Um, I'm calling because you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses this morning. And you can send them to anybody that you want today. I don't need any billing information from you. These are totally free. I'm sorry, why am I winning these roses? Well, you just got, you know, I'm I'm opening my new business and I'm trying to kind of promote myself and you've just been randomly selected today. In the past six months, you may have, you know, made a purchase online and you clicked a little button that says you wanted to receive promotional offers from other vendors and things like that. And so I'm just promoting my new flower business and you can receive a free dozen roses today and send them to anybody that you want. Uh, Okay. I mean, if there's, yeah, if there's no catch, then... That's, no catch. I mean, I just ask that you know, if you love the flowers or whoever you send them to loves them, just promote. You know, let them know where they where they came from. Luxurious flowers. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, um, okay, great. So, who would you like to send them to? Could you send it to uh, Kate? Kate, sure. and is that with a K or a? C? Yeah, K A T E. K A T E. Okay, and then you can also put like a, a little short note, like a sentence or something. Anything you want to say to Kate? Um. Yeah. How about um. For you. For everything. For you. For 
everything. John, it's Ryan Seacrest and Sissini and your wife on the line, Sarah. I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. Uh, does Kate live in the 626? Does she have a 626 number? Who's Kate, John? I just, I just want to be clear, like, what's going on All right, right let, now. let me, let me make sure you understand. So your vo- everything we're saying is being heard on the radio now, okay? But I need you to understand that. So I've told you that. Now, your wife is on the other line. She has written us a note telling us that she thinks you're having an affair with someone in the 626 labeled in your contacts as telemarketer. Now, you've sent the flowers to a woman named Kate with a note that says, for you, for everything... And the question she has, well, Sarah, you asked the question. Uh, who is Kate? Uh, uh, I, just, I don't know why we had to do it this way. Uh, I had to know. I don't know why you're texting a telemarketer your phone, and I thought I was crazy for thinking that there's a possibility you could be cheating, and you... So, John, what's the story, bud? The story is uh, things things haven't been good, and I have I have been. So you're having an affair with this other woman named Kate, the telemarketer. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's a yes. Is that yes? That's yes. How long has it been going on, John? About a year. Uh, and and when were you planning on revealing this to your wife? I don't know. I I wasn't even thinking of office. I wasn't thinking of revealing it. Uh, oh, so you're just gonna go about the rest of your life cheating on your wife? I mean, it's time. You know what? I was honestly, I it was. I was thinking it was time to to really face the music. And well, you, you said things aren't good. What's what's wrong? What's the breakdown in your relationship, John? It's, you know, it's been eight years, and it just hasn't felt. Right, and their their problems, their issues. It's just not. Sir, did you feel like there have been problems and issues? Do you understand what John's saying? No, I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. We're we like we have a great family. Our kids. Well, I don't know yes. what you're talking about. I love, I love, I love the kids. It's not about the kids. It's just you know you can still have that. That can still be great and. What we have, you and me, Sarah, is just not the same as what, what it was before. You know, it's just not. Well, the same. An eight-year marriage isn't a honeymoon. Like, you go through challenges together and you work through them. You don't cheat on the other person. Look, we can, we can, we can talk about this. And you should have talked about it a year ago. I just want to ask one more question before we let you both go. And, mm-hmm. Sarah, I'm sorry that you're hearing this news. Kate, what is Kate's expectation? Of your relationship with her, uh, she she knows that it's it's there's nothing more there. It's not about she knows me, that you're married you know. with yeah. kids uh, of eight years, yeah. and she knows about Sarah, and she's fine with it. I mean, she's not fine that I'm in the situation where I feel like. But I she understands. She knows that you're married with to Sarah. Yeah, yeah. And uh. Does she expect you to leave Sarah? No. Okay, Sarah, okay. we're gonna put both of you on hold. Um, Actually, John, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go, John. Your your wife is going to be in touch with you, I'm sure, momentarily. Sarah, we're going to let you go, too. Um, I'm sorry they had to find out this way, but at least now, you know, the unknowing is gone. And uh, I, I, th- I think you should address this with him together in person. Yeah. Sorry, okay, Sarah. So good luck, baby. Thank you for calling us. Thanks, guys.